a blessing to have your own uh, olive trees and care for the quality of your own table olives and olive oil. Uh, and around the Mediterranean basin, uh, an annual stock of uh, olive oil and olives is one of the most important uh, health food items and which is used daily with all kinds of food. Uh, now we returned from uh, living abroad to care for our olive uh, grove ourselves and we were surprised that most farmers who helped us to care for our olive trees tell of the worm that infected the olive fruit but were not aware that the origin of the infestation was the olive fruit fly. Now this olive is a good sample of the fruit fly infestation that destroyed our complete crop a few years ago. At this stage, it's too late to save this olive. The mother fly had injected its egg into one of these small brown spots that become sealed around it. And then the egg hatched into a maggot that ate its way through the olive and then it's pupated into a cocoon and emerged from this large hole and uh, became a fruit fly. Uh, now the fly is a very dangerous pest for uh, farmers since it reproduces very rapidly and can destroy a whole season of crops. Uh, now I'm a civil engineer, uh, not an agricultural engineer or an entomologist, uh, which is an insect scientist, but I knew of the fruit fly when I lived in California, USA in the early 80s during the first invasion of the Mediterranean fruit fly or met fly. The fly was uh, threatening California's $40 billion farming industry. So fleets of helicopters sprayed malathion insecticide over Silicon Valley area, including residential areas at a very high cost. And I remember that the full repaint of my own car cost the state about $1,800. In this video, we investigate the various species of uh, fruit flies in our fields in Lebanon with focus on the olive fruit fly. We have made another video in Arabic on this same channel. Uh, we also intend to produce other videos of our field experiences this season, so please subscribe and participate by commenting with your own experiences. Uh, I was curious at some point that so many farmers and landowners refer to the infestation of a worm that destroys uh, an olive field, uh, but uh, quite a few who knew it in Lebanon, they called it the sting. The fruit fly uh, has uh, many species in Lebanon and targets multiple fruits. And you can see here it's laying an egg in a cucumber fruit and here it's laying, uh, it has already laid eggs in an apple and here again you see it in an olive fruit and this particular fly is specialized in olive fruit and this is, uh, you can see the, in, the injection of the egg in the olive and here another fly, uh, this particular fly was similar to a fruit fly that appeared in California now the fruit fly, uh, the female is larger than the male and delivers the egg into the fruit through a syringe-like stinger similar to a beast stinger. It has also a couple more segments in its uh, abdomen. Now this is an actual uh, first catch of fruit flies in Lebanon where we identified this as Bactrocera olea. And the fly is really next to a toothpick so it's uh, pretty small and very difficult to handle. And uh, so the fruit fly cycle is, is the problem in, uh, in its infestation because it moves from a, an egg to a fly in 10 days and to an adult in 35 days and that depends on weather. Now the egg hatches in two days and eats through the olive in multiple larval stages. Then it pupates in the olive, uh, sometimes in the ground at the end of the season to become a full-fledged fly. Now each female can inject about 200 to 500 eggs uh, in its own lifetime in olive fruits and the next generation will reproduce the same number of flies. Uh, so within 35 days you could have so many generations uh, in, a, in one season. The flies reproduction declines in hot and dry weather 
uh, and increases in moderate and humid weather. So some farmers, especially in the hot summer, they leave it to nature to limit the infestation and they accept losing some of the infected fruits instead of spraying chemical pesticides. But if the weather favors the fly, then the loss may be comprehensive, which means that you have to monitor your field uh, more often. Now, the signs that uh, the fruit fly is present in the field are these small brown spots on the olive, which is the place where the fly uh, injects its egg into the fruit, and it could be multiple holes in the fruit. For our field, we started to observe the fly stings in uh, middle July, early to mid-July, and the first stings were in uh, more mature and oily olives, and were clustered in one tree at first, then with less stings on the next uh, two or three trees. For our study, we dissected most uh, stung olives and found four of them contained larvae at uh, different stages of development. Uh, this particular dissection is a good example of the stink path. It shows the entry brown spot on the skin of the olive and the squiggly line of the stink path. It ends presumably with the egg that we may be able to see if we had higher magnification. Uh, we also added this uh, red parallel line to indicate uh, the penetration path. Now, sting one is a fresh sting with a young larva where the path had not rotted yet due to the lack of oxygen since the olive with the sting uh, seals itself in and allows the, uh, the egg to, to hatch and to eat through the fruit. Now, sting two is a more advanced larval stage where we can still see the live maggot and with the tunnels already rotted, but with no sign of damage on the olive's exterior other than the brown spot where the sting uh, penetrated. So this larva seems to be at an advanced stage and it would uh, soon cocoon and uh, become a uh, fly within a few days. Now, sting three, uh, we were too late to see the larva as it apparently pupated and exited its cocoon as a complete fly. The cocoon looks intact since it had a flap on one of the ends where the fly exited. We will show more of the larval stages uh, in our next videos. Now, the material of the cocoon, uh, it seems similar to the skin of a sea shrimp. Uh, sting four is uh, interesting since we either accidentally cut the cocoon while dissecting uh, the olive or we disturbed the maggot while it was forming its uh, pupal cocoon. Uh, in any case, uh, to have uh, this many advanced infections uh, uh, so early in the season is cause for further monitoring and remedy. Now, there are several types of uh, fly traps to monitor the fruit fly uh, population. One of them is this fruit fly uh, glue trap, where it is... Uh, the yellow color attracts the faraway flies, and the attractant scent attracts the nearby flies, and the glue holds them, and the insecticide uh, kills them. And the next trap uses the same principle of attracting the fly, where it can uh, find a way in, but cannot find a way out, and an insecticide uh, inside the container uh, kills the fly. Now, we use a homemade method that uses a mix of yeast and sugar as, and water as an attractant, and we put it in a bottle uh, that we poked some holes in. We refined the fly trap by putting the holes on one side of the bottle to allow for collecting the caught fly specimens without spilling the liquid. Here, we used water as ballast to paint the bottles. Uh, now, in practice, we found that the flies were caught equally well, regardless of the color of the bottle, but we preferred uh, the bottle to be yellow because it was easier for us to find it in the field. Now, making the bottle trap is very simple. You just heat a nail and poke small holes about 4 to 5 millimeters in diameter on one side of the bottle. 
and then uh, you find a piece of string to tie it and hang it on the tree. Uh, preferably, you might find a metal uh, wire to hang it, since insects cannot climb down a clean uh, metal wire. But we didn't have many of those, so we used the string and it worked fine. The recipe for the attractant liquid is simple. For one liter of water, you use about one tablespoon of yeast and about two to three tablespoons of sugar. You can add one drop of liquid soap, uh, which breaks the water surface tension to allow the flies to sink. Uh, and alternatively, you can also use vinegar with some sugar uh, instead. The bottle should be less than half full and be placed in the shade, which is usually in the north side of the tree but not touching branches to avoid uh, crawling insects. Uh, in our case, we tried several liquids, so we numbered uh, the bottles and indicated the liquid used. Uh, the string should be about a meter long or about three feet and uh, to place a bottle within easy reach in order to collect specimens or change the liquid. For our study, uh, we collected the caught flies uh, every few days using a funnel uh, watering jug and a strainer. Uh, the smell of the fermenting yeast becomes unpleasant, but if you leave the trap full of caught flies, uh, then the smell would become unbearable due to the rotting fly carcasses. And that sometimes smells very pungent and reminiscent of the defensive secretions of the North American skunk animal which is really overpowering. So then you can uh, return the filtered liquid back to the bottle and uh, reuse it for, uh, for a few days more or even uh, a couple of weeks. Uh, if, it, if the liquid evaporates, uh, then you can add uh, some water to it or if it becomes very thick, then you replace the whole liquid. We caught here a few uh, baby olive uh, fruit flies actually. They look very small here. Now, uh, this was early in the season, so this, these are some of our first uh, catches, and uh, we caught uh, other unwanted uh, insects, and we learned uh, what to do with our fly trap so we can avoid catching uh, the unwanted insects. These are the olive uh, fruit flies. These were the small ones probably you saw in that strainer. Uh, now, we tried uh, several uh, liquids, including orange soda, which caught uh, black ants. Maybe that information will become useful later on. And this, uh, these brown ants were caught from this bottle, which was ha hung by mistake in a, uh, adjacent to branches and leaves. And we caught this bee, uh, regrettably, uh, because we had the hole was a bit uh, too big. It would be very useful to catalog our caught fly specimens, especially in case we get new invasive species. On the right side of the screen are the fly specimens that we caught in our field, and on the left side we have the entomology records of the olive fruit fly. Now, sample number one uh, really needs to be confirmed, but it's one of the earliest flies we caught, basically in June, July. However, uh, uh, specimen number two obviously matches a young male fruit fly, uh, and it usually has a shorter abdomen than the female fruit fly, which is uh, matching specimen number three, which is a female fruit fly, and you can see the longer abdomen uh, segments and the stinger. Now, for our adult uh, fruit fly that we caught in the field, by comparison, it seems to match very well the olive fruit fly, or uh, as it's called in Latin, uh, Bactrocera olea. So why do we study insects in detail and maintain a record of the results? Now, a farmer's pressing problem is to maintain the health of the crop for the current season, but the scientist's problem is to care for the field for all seasons, since we have to uh, consider that nature evolves and climate changes and modern transportation modes introduce new and hybrid species. 
There are a few alternatives to uh, insecticide sprays. Uh, organic remedies involves growing the natural uh, predators of the fruit fly in the laboratory and releasing them in nature. Unfortunately, uh, your neighbor's insecticides kills those as well. Now, biochemical and radioactive uh, controls involve using the female pheromones to attract and kill male flies or to subject the male uh, flies uh, grown in the lab to radioactive treatment uh, that takes them sterile. Now, in Lebanon, we need a wide coordinated effort to use any such remedies. Now, this is uh, an effective uh, attract and kill trap for the olive fruit fly, which comes from Athens, Greece. It is a yellow film impregnated with the delta methane insecticide and has an attractant of ammonium bicarbonate and the female pheromone of the olive fruit fly. Uh, this is an example of uh, a similar uh, fly trap uh, in a field some 10 kilometers away from our field. Uh, they used white vinegar with some sugar as attractant. Uh, the trapped uh, flies were black fruit flies that we believe go after the sweeter fruits. Actually, a few weeks later, they showed up in our fly traps. Now, this trap uh, is used to control the fruit fly population, so it was never emptied, and usually it will be replaced uh, when full. However, the smell of the rotting uh, fly carcasses uh, becomes so unbearably pungent and similar to the smell of the defensive spray of the North American skunk animal, which is really, if you haven't smelled it, don't. Uh, for our study, we have to empty our traps every few days so we can monitor the type and number of uh, the caught flies. So to conclude for this part of our study, uh, what we learned really is to start early, placing the traps in uh, late May or early June to limit uh, the early breeding of the fruit fly. Uh, also to remove all hibernation materials uh, like the uh, olive fruit that remains on the tree or on the ground. Uh, we do uh, good housekeeping, pruning the trees and turning the soil over to introduce air and sun to prevent moisture and allow the birds and uh, insects to eat the sleeping larva. Also, of course, to use organic control instead of chemical pesticides as much as possible because pesticides kills useful insects and birds as well, which will also defeat the purpose of uh, controlling the fruit fly through predators. Uh, for our field, uh, since we had the previous uh, infestation history and lost all of our uh, crop some years ago due to the fruit fly, and now with the increased number of stings uh, and uh, rotting fruits that we have dissected, we decided to spray with the light insecticide uh, over the affected areas with the plant to monitor weekly. And hopefully we would minimize or do without uh, further insecticide uh, applications. For our next video, uh, we plan to document the period from August through September and report the types and numbers of flies caught in our field so we can uh, monitor the effectiveness of uh, our remedies. Uh, we shall also include uh, more detail of the interesting larval stages of the fruit fly so we can improve our treatment to future infestations. Uh, please participate by commenting with your experiences or questions and subscribe to our channel so you would receive notification when we post uh, our new video.